All right, Facebook, here we are. Another Monday is up on us. I'm home today. I missed you guys, or I missed being at home, but I was with you last week. We um, were at the San Diego Zoo. As I promised, we were going to um, be streaming live from the San Diego Zoo, uh, promoting our new um, flashcard set, um, Amazing Animals, Amazing God. So that's what we did last week. And this week, I'm just going to turn my phone down here. I got some <clears throat> interaction there. All right. And so this week, we're back, but we're still going to be talking about the new game uh, that's coming out. Ah, I don't know what that is. Let's pause that. Um, so, yeah, we're still going to be talking about that new game uh, today. Uh, and we're going to go over a couple of other games um, just to give you some review. So you can see uh, what it is that we do here at Tell the World Ministries. Um, for those of you who don't know, my name is Mayneen, and I'm the founder of Tell the World. Uh, Tell the World is a an online store, a Christian gift store. And uh, we have games. We are, What we do is we pride ourselves in being innovative and coming up with new ways to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. And so we do that through greeting cards. We do that through games um, that we create here at Tell the World. Uh, and we do that through uh, different tools, evangelistic tools. Amen. And so uh, that's what that's what we do here at Tell the World Ministries. So for those of you who don't know, just wanted to kind of give you a brief uh, synopsis of what it is we do here. And um, so before we get started, hello there. How are you? I see someone here watching with us. Thank you for joining us today. And so um, without further ado, we're going to open up in prayer. Amen. And we're just going to invite God to come in with us um, because everything I do, I got to have God in the yeah. forefront so that um, so that uh, we can um, be anointed. Without God, it's just a show. It's just something that we're doing. And I need God in everything that I'm doing. Amen. So forgive the noise in the background. Uh, got the family here. And so um, yeah, we're just going to go, go ahead right through it. Amen. Let's go ahead and bow our heads and ask God to meet us in this place. Father, we thank you right now for this time uh, to share with Facebook, Lord, and family and friends, Lord God. And we ask, Lord, that you would just um, use us in this hour, Lord God, that we're with you, Lord. Open the windows of heaven, Lord God. We need you in the midst of everything that we do as we share about the new game. Father, we just ask you to anointing, uh, be with us, Lord God, and we just pray you touch every family and everyone watching, Father, in a mighty way, Father. In Jesus' name, Lord, we pray for those that are struggling with COVID and, and the loss of family members, Lord. We lift up Brene right now, Father God, that you will strengthen her, Lord God, and the loss of her mom. And we ask, Lord God, that you will continue to do what you are doing, Father God. Shift us, Lord. Mold us, Lord. And shake us, Lord God, so that we can see what it is you want to do in our lives, Father God, and what we should be doing as your children, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. All right, so let me change the lighting real quick. I got to do something really quick. All right. All right, so there we go. Go ahead if you need to use the, um, the microwave thing. All right, so... Um, it's going to be a little dark for a moment, guys, so bear with me. I had to unplug something, so my husband used it. Anyway, so, all right, so we're uh, talking about, we're talking about um, amazing animals. Amazing God, amazing animals. Every day we see beautiful animals. We see the nature of God. We see him um, moving in such a mighty way, and just his creation is awesome. Amen. And uh, one thing that uh, my husband and I enjoy doing, sitting together, and we watch uh, the shows about different animals. And so one day, I just told me, just uh, really put it on my heart to do something uh, that uh, would highlight these animals. Uh, amen. And kind of uh, bring a, um, a joining together of, uh, you know, this creation to its creator. And, uh, you know, for our younger uh, generation, and uh, you know, for the most part, uh, because um, we, what we want to do is we want to uh, show them, we want to show them that everything leads back to God. Amen. 
and uh, the kids love enjoy, uh, watching uh, animals. They love seeing them at the zoo. And, you know, um, I took my grandkids with me um, to the zoo, as you saw in some of the photos um, that we posted. And they ac absolutely loved it. They loved the zoo. They loved looking at the animals and, and just, you know, uh, learning more about them. And so uh, that's what we wanted to do. We want to uh, open their minds to uh, not only did God create humans, and uh and how um masterful we are you know i mean uh, the way we're created I, that's a whole nother segment but animals um you know are something that kids can relate to a little bit um more amen and and so i wanted to be able to uh to to share with them okay god created all of these wonderful animals in such a marvelous way um and the wisdom is unspeakable uh with um with regards to uh, the different things that these animals can do, the mechanisms, the you know, um, the different characteristics, um, you know, the things that they are, their culture, and, and um, it's just awesome. So uh, we we put that all in a game, and uh, we're working on that now, and we want to get it to you by um, by the first of December. That's our goal. Amen. It may be before, you know, we're working on it. There's going to be four sets, so each set is twenty five cards. Amen. And they're going to feature, uh, and they're, they're big cards, they're big postcard size cards, and they're going to feature an animal on each card. And on the back of the card, um, it will have uh, the amazing facts, some amazing facts about those animals and insects and mammals, all kinds of different things. And and then at the bottom, it will say, who am I? So what you can do, as I said, these are flashcards, okay? Um, we didn't start out making it as a game, but it, it evolves into that. Um, and so what you can do um, and, while you're studying these cards, young people or parents with the young people, uh, at the bottom, it says, who am I? It'll tell you all these different facts about the animal. And then at the bottom, it says, who am I? So you can have the cards face up on the table and then pick one card and then, you know, read out the um, the facts and the other person can guess or the other people at the table can guess. OK, and you can kind of go around the table and uh, and play this. Um, hey, mom, how are you? Good to see you there. Um, and so, yeah. And so um, it's pretty exciting. It's pretty fun. Uh, you know, it'll be a, it'll be a learning tool uh, for the kids and you can. Um, you know, talk about uh, the creation. You can talk about the animal. You can um, go into more depth about it if you like. Um, and and it's just a talking piece um, uh, to to uh, kind of a um, uh, icebreaker to open the, the door to talk about how awesome God is and and how um, infinite His wisdom is. Amen. And so yeah, that's um that's that game. It's amazing animals, amazing God uh, flashcard set. Okay. And uh, like I said, there's four sets. You can buy one set for $7.99, or you can buy all four sets for $29.99, okay? So you get a bit of a discount there if you buy all four sets. I'm um, letting you know now, you can purchase them in advance. They are not ready right now, but you can get your order in advance and, uh, and have it shipped to you immediately um, upon completion, amen? Um, sorry about that. Um, and so, yeah, that's um, that's what we're working on now. And um, and so I just and also I want to give a shout out to a few people. I want to give a shout out to Linus Tarver and his lovely wife. Um, they have been so supportive of uh, Tell the World Ministries. Um, and also I want to give a shout out to Apostle Dwayne Spencer and his wife, uh, Tracy Spencer. Amen. Um, they have been awesome as well. Um, a shout out to everyone who have uh, reached out and. Uh, purchase witness game or the scripture, his words, my words. Um, amen. You probably see the videos on Facebook of um, two people playing some of the games, and so I'm excited about what God is doing. Amen. And I just want to say thank you to all of you who are supporting me. Uh, Kamisha Stevens, um, thank you for supporting me out of Compton. There, uh, thank you so much for that. That's my best friend, y'all. To supporting me, and um, so uh, yeah, I, my mom. I just want to thank everybody for. Um, I don't want to miss anybody. I know I'm not saying all the names, but you know who you are. I've sent you personal thank you cards. Um, so um, let me just let you know what we're doing now. 
in terms of the company. So uh, we are revamping on the website. So you'll be able to purchase everything on the website, including the greeting cards. Because right now you have to order those separate and there's just so much you have to go through. So we're trying to make it um, a bit easier for you um, and, and um, making sure that you can get all of your uh, Tell the World Ministry products from one place. Amen. And so pray for us. Um, pray that it's a smooth transition. And um, and we're just praying that um, continued support would would follow. Amen. Amen. And uh, let me see what else uh, we got going on. Um, oh, we also have, um, I don't have them. Yes, I do. I do have them right here. We also have decals. Okay. We've got decals, guys. So if you want decals, let me know. You can um, support us, you know, by... Um, Posting a decal on your um, on your car. You can even put these on your coffee mugs. I have some on my coffee mugs. Amen. You probably saw the picture on um, on uh, Facebook, and I have a larger decal. If you want um, to get one of those, Amen. Um, just to support the company, and you know, put the word out there in different ways that um, there's a company that is available. A lot of our Christian um, bookstores are gone. Um, you know, are there? Um, they're no longer with us. There's there's one or two um, that I know of, um, and so I just want to. Um, I, I just thought you, we need to have somewhere we can go and not only get um, uh, inspirational products, but also a place that we can go to uh, to get tools to help us evangelize. Amen. Uh, tools that will help um, bring families together. Amen. That will um, foster relationships and communication and and things of the sort. Amen. And so I'm believing God for, you know, the online store to take off and to, um, you know, to just um, expand in such a way that um, will be a blessing to so many. There's so many visions that God has given to me um, for his people. And and I'm, I'm just, I'm excited about seeing them come to pass. Um, we're hoping to actually have a, an actual brick and mortar store soon. So there's a lot of visions that, um, you know, we would ask that you would um, pray for us. Um, about amen uh, link link hearts with us and, and join us in prayer as we're praying for uh, the expansion of tell the world ministries and that god um his holy spirit will just continue to anoint and to bring these ideas to us as we bring them to you amen and so um i'm not going to keep you for long um let's go over quickly briefly um some of the other games that we have um you know about the witness game Witness game is available. Get it now, guys. Get it now because, um, you know, holidays are coming. They're the perfect gift. It takes about um, two weeks um, approximately, uh, depending on um, the, um, you know, the uh, the uh, how busy the production site is. But um, if you get your order in now, you know, you, you would beat the rush. Amen. Get your orders in now. Um, you have grandkids, nephews, nieces. This is the game for them. Amen. And you can see here the types of things that it talks about. Um, here it says, am I a sinner? Is God real? You know, um, how can I be saved? What is my purpose? These are things that uh, young people um, uh, ask themselves all the time. You know, uh, why am I here? Uh, you know, um, if God is such a good God, why does bad, why do bad things happen? So those are some of the topics that um, we go over in that game. It's an awesome game for discussion. Um, if you're the facilitator, you will automatically start to get a feel for um, the way the game um, is supposed to go. You read the instructions and then you start going through. And as people are answering questions, as people are um, getting ready to uh, finish their scenarios, you can kind of, you know, give them an idea of um, how it's supposed to go. Amen. So it's not that kind of game where you got to know everything off the top of your head. The facilitator or the person that's hosting the game can give you some um, some insight and some help on that as well. So it's that type of game. It's a discussion game, but it's freely, it's open. It's not, you know, where, um, you know, you're being badgered about something. The Bible's not being, you're not being held over the head with the Bible. It's a place where you can open openly talk about your personal issues, um, about your personal experience or about how, what you feel about God or you know what the church has done for you or to you amen um it's, that's the kind of game it is amen and so i'm excited to bring that game to you amen and um and so 
Amen. That's the witness game. Okay. You can find that on tellingtheworld.com. That's T E L L I N T H E W O R L D.com. Amen. Telling no G the world.com. Okay. All right. So also what you can find um, there is his words, my words. Amen. His words, my words is a faith based sentence structure game. Okay. The idea is to, um, to form sentences, to teach young people. I have a five and up version, then I have a teen and young adult version. The younger version is to teach young people how to form sentences and then read those sentences, amen? And uh, there are sight words that they use in school, uh, you know, the, this, you know, she, he, um, you know, things like that, dog, cat, things like that, you know. Um, and um, so the idea is you pass out the cards and they try to form sentences with the words that they have in their hand. Okay, faith based words are automatically uh, worth 10 points. Okay, and then um, the idea is the first person to get to 100 or the, with the most points wins. Okay, I've had people tell me it's an awesome game, really, really fun game. Um, they're playing it on Facebook, so check it out. Um, check us out on Facebook. Uh, you can watch some of our videos. We're also on uh, YouTube, uh, Tell the World Ministries that are on YouTube. You can check us out there and see some of the videos of some people playing the game and, and you know, giving some positive feedback about the company. Amen. And um, so that's that's his words, my words. OK, I'm just kind of show you that. All right. And next we have scripture. Scripture is a Bible verse uh, memory game. So I say memory game, but it's really not about memory. It's more about learning how to use the concordance, the Bible concordance. OK. So the idea behind this game is um, we want you to learn how to use the concordance. So what we've done is we've taken 100 scriptures and in those scriptures, each card will have a scripture on it. There's a scripture on the back of that one, Romans 10, 10. Okay. And as you can see, the words heart, um, believes and confession are uh, highlighted in red. Those are the words that you need to um, act out Guess, explain. I'm not guess. You can act them out. You explain them. You can draw them. Whatever you think will work to get your team to guess what those words are. Once they have guessed those words, then you uh, you have uh, one minute. Your team has one minute on, and there's a sand timer that comes with the game uh, to get to guess what scripture has those three words in it. Okay, so it's a really fun game. It really helps you learn how to use the concordance. You're taking those words and you're looking those words up in the concordance. For those of you who don't know what a Bible concordance is, it is the back of the. It's in the back of the book. It's a glossary um, of of sorts. Amen. And and it um those words are in the back of the book and it gives you the location of where those words can be found. Some have multiple uh, locations. Some only have one. Okay. So the challenge is that uh, some of these words are in the concordance and some are not. Okay, and so um, you are, are challenged with going through and kind of doing a um, elimination process of elimination and figuring out which one of those um, scriptures is the one that has all three or the majority, okay, of the words. So it's a really fun game. We used to play it here on uh, Facebook Live, um, but we haven't had a whole lot of time. I'm trying to cut these videos short. Just kind of want to give you... Um, uh, you know, quick um, ideas and quick uh, 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 just letting you know what we have. Updates is the word I was looking for. I couldn't think of the word. Quick updates on what's going on with Tell the World Ministry. Um, and, uh, you know, then I have sometimes I, I give you a vlog about um, something to do with evangelism. So today I just want to do a game overview. I wanted to let you know what the new game was about. Um, and I'm excited for it. I'm excited for you to learn more about the um, amazing animals that God has created. Oh, there's so many. I, I cannot. A hundred is not going to do it. A hundred is not going to do it. I got a feeling that there's going to be way more than a hundred of these. Uh, amen. And so, as I said, again, amazing animals, amazing God will be out by December 1st. That is the goal. And so uh, you can find, you will be able to find it on tellingtheworld.com. That is the website, tellingtheworld.com. Amen. If you need to reach me by Gmail or email, you can reach me at tellingtheworld247 at gmail.com. So 
So that's telling the world 247. Amen at gmail.com. All right. All right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to close out because um, I, I don't want to hold you long. I wanted to just share with you about that new game um, and to kind of go over some of the other games again to get, refresh your mind. Let you know, we got games, guys. We got games for you. If you're bored at home, they're talking about another shutdown. Uh, go, go ahead and uh, log on to tellingtheworld.com. Grab a couple of games so you can play. Have some fun with your family. Get to know your children. Amen. While you have that chance. Amen. Um, and and just um, just take a hold of this opportunity uh, to share the gospel with someone. If it's your family or if it's strangers or if it's your co-workers, we've got the tools for you to do that. Amen. Um, don't forget quick wits. We got those that are uh, five dollars for twenty five quick wits. You want to share some in the office? You know they're business size little cards like this. Amen. This one says, um, uh, "Warning: Exposure to the sun may prevent uh, burning." Amen. And so I'll just gotta get close to you. Amen. That's you know straightforward. Letting people know, hey, get exposed to Jesus, and He will prevent you from hell because hell is real. It's a real place, just like heaven is real. Oftentimes, we want to believe that heaven is real, but we don't want to believe that hell is real. And let me tell you, we don't want to be we don't want to be ignorant on that. Amen. If we be ignorant for anything else, that's the one thing we don't want to be ignorant about. Amen. We want to we want to uh, make sure that we share with people that heaven and hell are real places. Amen. And we can make a choice right now as to which one we go to. All right. All right. So. Not going to hold you much longer. We're going to go ahead and close out in prayer. Amen. As we do always, if you're out there, you don't know Christ as your Lord and Savior. Amen. This is an opportunity for you to uh, pray this prayer and ask him to come into your heart. Amen. Be sincere about it because he sincerely wants to live inside your heart. Amen. That's what he died for all those years ago. He died so that as many as would come. Amen. To the cop to the uh, saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, amen. All right, so this is a prayer, and I'm going to read the prayer off of here because I, I want you know, I want you to know that um, we, we're serious about uh, evangelism, we're serious about salvation here at Tell the World, and um, it's it's no laughing matter. I try to witness to somebody every day, try to share the good news of Jesus Christ because people are lost, people are hurting. People need to know that God is waiting. God loves them. He's just waiting on them to invite him into their heart so he can go to work. He just, he just let him go to work. He'll do it. Amen. Will your life be perfect? No. But you'll be on that road to perfection. Amen. All right. So let's just go ahead and bow our heads and, and, and repeat this prayer. Mean it with your heart and God will come into your heart and be your personal Lord and Savior. Amen. Dear God, I admit that I'm a sinner. I'm sorry. For all the wrong that I have done. I believe that you sent your son Jesus to die on the cross for me. And I believe that he rose from the dead on the third day to be my savior. Please forgive me. Come into my heart and help me to live my life for you according to your will. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. Amen and amen. And if you said that prayer, amen. The Bible says the angels in heaven are rejoicing that there is great rejoicing right now because of you giving your life to Christ. You are that important to God that that the whole the whole heaven is rejoicing because you said that prayer. Amen. God is real, my friend. And if you are tired of the, your life of sin, if you're tired of the circle, that same circle that you've been going around for year after year after year, give God a try. You tried everything else. Now give God a try. He loves you, my friend. He's waiting for you. Amen. And so uh, don't don't wait another day. Invite him into your heart. I just pray the sinner's prayer for those who are just coming on. I just pray the sinner's prayer. Uh, if you don't know the Lord, today is the day of salvation. Do not wait. He's waiting for you. Amen. Amen. I, I, I don't know if you can see it here, but um, I got my sticker. I voted today. Amen. Put that up high because I want folks to know. Please go out and vote, young people. If you're 18 and up, up go out and vote. We need uh, your voice. Amen. We need your voice. Please go out and vote. Whether you're voting by mail or you're voting in person, do not wait. Do not waste your, your, your opportunity. 
this is your chance to speak. Amen. Go to the polls. Do your civic duty. You know, we can't complain if we don't vote. So go out, vote, and and let's pr pray and ask uh, that God would God to, God's going to put who He wants in there. So just just know that. But we still have to do our 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 duty. Amen. Because nothing happens without God. Amen. And so uh, we we're going to just uh, pray that God's will be done in the White House as it is everywhere else. On earth, as it is in heaven, amen. That we're gonna, we're just gonna believe God, you know, that His will will have, He will have His way, amen. And His will be done, amen. So I'm gonna close out with that. It's 102. Um, and so we'll see you next week, amen. God willing, with another topic, amen. We're gonna be ready next week, all right. All right, God bless you. Have a good day. And as usual, tell somebody about Jesus, amen. Have a good one.